Welcome to Rain Nail Studio. Today I am just recording me working with my non-dominant hand. If you've struggled with this or if you are struggling with this, the two main tips I can give you is to one, take your time, two, do not overthink it. One thing that I've always done is over file, but today I am doing a long set, so I will not be doing any trimming or cutting of the tips, which is going to make it so much easier. All of the items in this video will be linked down below. I'm going in with my 4 Pro 100 180 grit zebra file. These right now are my current favorite. They are inexpensive and they are great quality. To sharpen up the edges, I'm just going at a 90 degree angle, taking my time, making sure not to overfile. Now I'm not using any primer in this video because this set is temporary, but I have put this in real time so you can see just how slow I'm moving to avoid over filing my nail plate. I am taking precaution to only blend the tip, but you know, working with your non-dominant hand, it is very easy to slip up. So I have this at the speed of three on my Melody Susie Scamander e-file and I am using the fine sanding band from Panna. For today's tutorial, I'm just doing a marbling ombre with some glitter. And I do have this sped up just so that we're not here all day. But pretty much I'm going in with the banana from Mia Secret Tutti Frutti Collection, Core Triple X White from Young Nails, and then of course Cover Pink for the Ombre. And my glitter of choice today, y'all already know how I get down. We're using Dirty Sprite. All of the links to these powders will be down in the description box. But I'm pretty much just using watery beads and applying a thin layer of the acrylic onto my nail to avoid them from being thick. One thing I really struggle with using my non-dominant hand is controlling my liquid to powder ratio. Once I get to the cuticle area, it gets very runny and it becomes a mess, but I'm able to clean it up really well using my e-file bits. The only tip I have is just to always take your time. This particular set on this one hand took me 45 minutes, so I'm pretty sure I could have, you know, slowed down a little bit more, but it still came out very nice. 
So I'm using the clear French pink from Mia Secret to cap everything and of course give it a bit more of an apex and to smooth everything out. When I'm going in with my colored acrylic, I do use very thin layers to avoid them being so thick so that I don't have to file too much. To start finish filing, I'm just going to go ahead and sharpen up the edges and I am making sure to file away that excess acrylic that has spilled over onto my sidewalls. I'm using my 4 Pro 100 grit file and to finish filing, I go in with a cuticle bit and then I go over everything with my sanding band to smooth it out. Currently my favorite e-file bits are from Shop Galore or agaloreco.com. I really love these bits. They are very consistent and they're very good quality. So that's what I'm using right now. This is just the cuticle bit, but I did also purchase the fine and coarse e-file bit from them. And like I said, for finished filing, I'm going over everything with my sanding band. I used to hand file everything using my 180 file, but this has cut all of my time in half. So I'm just learning my e-file. I'm learning what works best for me. Everybody has their own style, but this has been working great for me. The only thing that I don't like is that over time, the sanding band starts to, you know, get used up basically and the grit starts to fall off so in the middle of filing I have to switch to a new sanding band which can be very expensive in the long run so I'll start to figure that out but I still love the way that this smooths everything over. After everything is buffed and I go wash my hands, I go over my nails with a non-lint wipe and then the 
Young Nails Swipe Cleansing Liquid. And then I'm gonna go in with my top coat. This is from DND. It is the non cleanse. I will go ahead and leave a link down below for the website where I get all of my polishes. But other than that, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Go ahead and rate these nails from 1 to 10. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and then follow me on Instagram at BeccaB underscore. I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.